Let's get your relics here. Get them while they're still holy. I mean, relicky. Tell me, do you venerate the saints? Do you go to them daily in intercession, asking them to go to the Father on your behalf? Don't you need just a little something to make your faith all the stronger to connect you to your patron? Well, here at Renaissance Rosary and Relics, we can provide you with that physical object that will connect you to the saints. And if you act now, we will give you, free of charge, St. Peter's big too. Have a piece of the man that walked with Christ. And to go with it, we will give you a piece of our true cross. Not the true cross, but a true cross. And tying it all together, this cord that was used to hang Judas Iscariot, the man who betrayed our Savior. Now you might ask, what would I give for all of these beautiful items? Well, I could ask you for a thousand marks. I could ask you for five hundred marks. I could even ask you for two hundred. But no, I won't do that. Because your faith, your strength means more to me than my own life. So I'm only asking five marks. That's right, five marks. I could go lower, I knew. But it would hurt my heart. It'd be like putting me on throat. And I could never do that. So, call now, 1-800. 555-7857, and we will provide you with the relics that will make your faith all the stronger. That's 1-800-555-7857 for Renaissance Rosary and Relics. Call us now and be blessed. Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is John Gibbons. Now, the medieval relic seller was a con man, pure and simple. These were the type of men who'd offer to sell you oceanfront property in Arizona and could cut you a great deal on the Brooklyn Bridge. They were more or less the medieval equivalent of the televangelist who will, for a hundred dollar donation, give you a special prayer napkin. Yes. Now I have to understand that in the Middle Ages, and quite possibly today, the idea of holding a relic, something connected to the saints, connected to the apostles, was a very special thing. King Louis the Ninth actually acquired what he was told was the true crown of thorns, which he built St. Chapelle Chapel in for. Apologize. So relics were very important. And many monasteries and convents of the time built their entire reputation around their relic and their patron. Uh, if you read the book Morbid Taste of Bones by Ellis Peters, you get an idea of how important it was. But getting back to the relic sellers, these people were crooks who would sell you St. Peter's Big Toe, which was quite possibly last night's dinner. Now, I've just told you a few things. I do recommend you look it up, do your research. Uh, that is what many of us in the Alabama Renaissance Fair believe in, that the fair should not only be entertaining, but it should be educational. So I do encourage you to look this up, learn more about the relic seller. So stay home, stay safe, and keep learning.